Salutations! Welcome to another episode of Fox Plays KSP, the 365 day challenge. So, uh, we have a, uh, a complimentary payload, uh, today to the, uh, Jingfang, uh, solar array, uh, which we have yet to land, but we will get there. Um, and, uh, but first we need to, uh, just do some some maintenance with the uh, moon station Hypatia. So uh, we're gonna hop over there and uh, dock up our resupply craft, uh, do some EVA work, and then we'll get right back to it. All right, see you up there. Alrighty. So here we are up in space. So. Uh, Got our docking port alignment indicator uh, by Navy Fish up, using that to uh, dock. And I'm actually not all that concerned about um, what docking port we're using. It doesn't matter all that much. Not uh, not this early on. Uh, once we start having more modules, it'll it'll become more relevant, um, or at least when we get more active about. Uh, you know, adding, adding modules. All right, that looks, uh, RCS on. So part of the trick here is that uh, we are unbalanced somewhat because we're uh, holding on to our upper stage from our carrier rocket. So yeah, once we uh, once we dock up, we're gonna I think uh, put some struts in place to uh, secure the Theon uh, survey module, uh, and we're also probably gonna add some uh, some some more external lighting. Um, once we have this uh, this craft docked up, we'll have a better idea of uh, what kind of light what kind of lighting we're gonna need for uh, visiting spacecraft at uh, that particular port. So we're going to slow down slightly. So we are closing rather quickly. We're going to just go crazy with the translation. Uh, you know, we'd, we'd get there eventually, but I just don't want to wait. And of course we, uh, we wind up overshooting. Well, not by much. Oh boy. Oh Nelly. Whew. Find controls. All righty, and we have uh, our alignment is good or good enough to. Uh, All right, nice, nice smooth docking there. 
Alrighty. So I do want to just check and see what the uh, lighting is like. I could have sworn that I put a uh, a light over here. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, you know what it was? <laughs> I put it here. Oh, silly me. All right. Well, uh, we're gonna. I guess we can fix that. So, uh, so yeah. First, the uh, the crews are gonna just kind of switch over and kind of see what each other is up to. Right. And Chuck is gonna take a much needed break and uh, go for can kind of stay on duty, I, I suppose. All right. So uh, Hanford or Hanfield is going to do an EVA. Now, what, is, what do we have in here again? Uh, nothing important. And... Let's get our... Uh, our headlamps up. Hmm... Sometimes I wish there was fine controls for uh, for Kerbals. Can we put this? There's our carbonite detector functioning normally. All right. I wish we had a... Hmm. Hmm. All right. Well, let's let's just uh, check this here. Lights on. Nice, good illumination. All right, good to see. And then uh, Hadfield. Or Halfield. Can't, really, can't even remember his name, but he's 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 proving to be actually a pretty good uh, pretty good Kerbal knot here, doing lots of EVA work. And, you know, let's let's just take a look, see in the uh, in the Ptolemy, see if there's anything in there that uh, that we need. Oh. Uh, pipe end point, uh, photovolic panel, no. Yeah. Alrighty, so we're all set, I think. Oh, no, I meant to uh, to do struts. Are they in here? A strut endpoint. Wish there was a better way of doing that, but... Oh, okay, right. So we're we're gonna put some struts between um, between the Theon survey module and the Hypatia module. And so we'll 
put that thereabouts. really need to get uh, some Pegasus uh, mobility enhancers, that is to say, really simple ladders that I can attach that and then I can use that as a very stable platform uh, to go about attaching further things. one. So we'll put one more and, uh, and that should be good for now. Um, then we can get back to uh, launching the complementary um, module that will uh, work hand in hand with the uh, Jingfang uh, solar array. Nope, that that just won't do. That's that's no good. There we go. Much better placement. So this is going to be a little bit tricky, I think. No, no, I guess it isn't. Alrighty. So a pair of a uh, pair of structural links there. So that should uh, should help keep that nice and stable. Uh, and. Uh, Guess he'll uh, he'll actually hang out here in the in the Theon uh, survey module and make sure things are hooked up properly. Uh, <clears throat> if you can actually uh, grab hold here, all right. Alright, and uh, yeah, very nice. I'm just going to make sure that uh, nobody's... Oh, Frieden Kerman is still in there, so he's going to go chill with the chill with the visiting pilot. Alright, that's, uh, that's pretty good. And we could reorient the station just to get more uh, solar panels, but I don't think we need to. Alrighty, so that's, uh, that's our EVA work uh, taken care of. Oh! Before I forget, let's uh, transfer some fuel. All right, and that should actually leave enough fuel for the uh, that upper stage to deorbit itself, which will be good. 
Oh yeah, plenty. I don't think it would take more than 50. Beautiful. Alright, and we'll even uh, resupply the uh, monopropellant. Make sure that that's topped up. Lest I forget. I don't think any of these actually got used. Yep. Because uh, that's, uh, that's something we're going to have to send up on the next uh, dedicated resupply mission. Is uh, some, some reaction control thrusters, some thruster blocks for, uh, for the Hypatia core module. But, uh, because it, it doesn't actually have any, any reaction control systems. So, uh, but anyway, that's, uh, that's all of our work done on the Moon Station Hypatia. Time for, a uh, time for a proper launch. So I'll see you on the launch pad. And here we are on the launch pad with the, uh, Zhang Heng, I believe. Yep. The Zhang Heng substation. Which is, uh, well, you'll see. Alright, so this is a pretty standard uh, proton uh, launch, or an AL, uh, ALV-2B? Yes, ALV-2B, because it only has the extended uh, first stage. Okay, so, uh, throttle up, here we go. So I suppose a, a little bit about uh, Zhang Heng, um, and uh, uh, just for the record, to reiterate, forgive me if I am butchering the the pronunciation of these quite uh, quite important Chinese figures. Um, it's not intentional, and you know, I I. I Something that I'm trying to kind of illustrate with uh, some of the naming uh, decisions that I've made in, in Mission Block 5 is, you know, there's, there's just umpteen zillion, um, you know, Archimedes blah, or, um, you know, Copernicus blah, or... Kepler, blah. But don't get me wrong, these are incredible scientists and, and you know, powerful minds and, you know, certainly worthy of praise um, and, and reverence and, uh, you know, they're, they're important figures in, in, uh, in science, but uh, there are others too, <laughs> is kind of my point. Um, there are there are certain uh, there there are scientists and and, um, and and people of science from many cultures <laughs> and uh, you know not all of them are, are familiar to the to you know Westerners uh, you know certainly certainly not Americans um, we're <laughs> Painfully ignorant sometimes of uh, the accomplishments and achievements of other cultures, um, but you know I'm I'm trying to kind of call call some attention in this little tiny corner of the internet to some of the uh, the more in interesting uh, achievements and achievers of of, of you know, long long ago and very, very distant, uh, characters, but, uh, but yeah, so, um, so, Zheng Heng, uh, right, so, he was actually a contemporary of, uh, -oh, uh, uh, the, <laughs> Safe by the bell. Whew. Alrighty. Um, 
Zhang Heng, right? He was a contemporary of the other Chinese uh, astronomer that I have named a thing for. I think it's Liang Fang? No, that, that doesn't sound right, but... Um, oh, I feel terrible. Consider me terrible feeling. But, uh, but yeah, so he was, he was another, uh, proponent, uh, in, in ancient China of the, the, you know, the, the theory that the, the, the moon and other celestial bodies were spheres and not disks, uh, that were always pointing at the earth, um, that they were in fact spheres, and that the, the moon not give off light of its own, but instead reflected the light from the sun. And in particular, uh, Zhang Heng um, was quite interested in eclipses, and he uh, he he was, you know, pointed out uh, in a very um, uh, in a very illustrative way that. Eclipses were a result of the motion of these spheres. Um, that you know the the when you know there were there were lunar eclipses and solar eclipses and all sorts of things. Um, and that's partly why I, I, I named this uh, this payload after him. It's because eclipses are a thing, and. Uh, and being outside of the sun's rays is, is a thing, even if you're on other planets. Uh, so it's important to have battery backups. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm I'm clearly in orbit, so we're gonna just do a bit of finagling off screen, and I'll uh, come back for our uh, transfer to the moon. All right. See you there. All righty. Here we are. And, uh, very nearly ready for our transfer to the moon! Two, one, go. Uh, there we go! Haha! <laughs> Engines work better when they're actually turned on. <laughs> uh, so it's, it's pretty hard to see it. Um, we'll uh, definitely get a better view when we get to the, the light side. First, uh, first the burn. Oh, there it is. There's the moon. Beautiful. All right, now I am going to let this uh, turn me around and. Um, and uh, burn back that uh, that seven delta V that I um, that I foolishly overburned. All right, and all right, close enough. All right, let's. Uh, Get things rolling. All right, and there we go. Back in daylight. All right, and there we go. So it's uh, it's fairly simple payload. Uh, we've just got a decoupler down there. We've got a uh, a wave a wayfarer fuel tank in the middle uh, with some of these uh, tiny little engines, the waykeeper engines. Reused from the uh, Vostok uh, uh, equivalent from Tantares, and uh, yeah, the the, the main uh, feature of this craft is just a whole bunch of KW uh, super large batteries. Um, they each they each hold twelve hundred, so in total we we hold sixteen. Sixteen thousand, sixteen thousand electric charge. So plenty to uh, to keep many things running for quite a long time. Um, 
we also have uh, a whole bunch of uh, the uh, winches, which can also be used just to connect various spacecraft um, and uh, connector ports. So, uh, which you may have noticed on uh, some of the uh, the other craft, um, it does require that a Kerbal uh, hook things up, though. So, well, we'll see. Well, anyway, uh, we're just gonna kind of do a whole bunch of time warping. Let's do the time warp. Very old song there. All right, and just transition to the moon's SOI. Let's just make sure that we've actually got a <gasps> Periapsis! Yeep! 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 Alert! Alert! Danger Will Robinson! Whew! Glad I caught that! My goodness! Oh, that would not have done! Oh, boy! <laughs> uh. Try and uh, wrestle the SAS back onto uh, onto target. <sighs> Glad I caught that. That was that was very nearly very embarrassing. All right, I think that should do it. Yeah, that's that's okay. That's that'll work. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Alrighty, so we're gonna just put a Alrighty, and uh for this episode I'm just going to uh get us into a, a stable orbit around the moon. Um and uh I think what we'll do is we'll have a bonus episode, just cause you know, I was I was late on two episodes, and this one's uh, I had meant for it to come out early, but I just I couldn't power through quite quite as much as I'd like, and so I had to just kind of <sighs> had to just kind of rest and reconsider, and so now now that I'm this far along in the day, it's not really early anymore, so we may as well do a bonus episode. Uh, where I land the uh, what's it called? All right, what's it called? The Jingfang. I kept wanting to say Zhangfang. No, it's the Jingfang uh, Solar Array and the Zhanghang substation. So we'll do that in a in a bonus episode. But first, we'll just uh, get ourselves into a little parking orbit and uh, call that good enough. All right, coming up on our burn here. Missed it by a whole bunch. That's okay. Close enough. How's that? How's that look? Thirty thousand and many more thought. Yeah, I'll keep burning there. Yeah, it's more like it. Alrighty, so uh, oh, that's not a not a bad result, all things considered. Yeah, yeah, no. Leave the Kerbal Engineer alone, mouse. Yeah, so the uh, Zhang Feng substation, there it is. So we'll uh, we'll land this and the Jing Fang solar array in the bonus episode coming up. I have been Fox, this has been KSP. Thank you for watching, hope you've enjoyed. Hope to see you next time. Take care.